And just in tonight, NASA has scrubbed plans to launch Boeing's version of an astronaut taxi into space. NASA just made that call at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. There's the launch pad holding the massive Atlas V rocket. Oh, and at the top is Boeing's Starliner crew capsule. We're going to have to wait until another try tomorrow. And it looks like we've got Marissa Para there on the ground uh, who has watched this scrub happen in the live action here. Uh, Marissa, what, what happened? Mm -hmm. What went wrong? Hey, Gotti. Yeah, so we just got this information a few minutes ago. There was an issue with the oxygen valve on the solid rocket booster. So out of an abundance of caution, they decided to scrub this. And just for some context for those who maybe don't watch every single space launch that happens, this is fairly common for launches to get scrubbed, uh, mostly because of weather, at least when I've been out here. Um, but there, this is something that they take very seriously. And so there is also a lot on the line here. And we have talked about this previously. We've been talking about this all day. We've been reporting on this for months, if not years, the things that Boeing has been plagued with. Now, remember, Boeing's commercial aircraft completely separate from their space program, but their space program has also been plagued with issues separately. Uh, in 2019, we know that uh, the uncrewed test flight had issues that were so severe with the software that the capsule didn't even make it to the ISS. We know last summer there were issues with flammable tape and the parachutes. Um, but I want to mention that ahead of what we were expecting to see tonight, now hoping to see tomorrow in terms of this launch, Gotti. Um, we've heard astronauts and, of course, the NASA administrator trying to instill confidence. Butch Wilmer, which is one of those two astronauts, had said that they have had their fingerprints on every single procedure that exists for this spacecraft. And NASA Administrator Bill Nelson calling this a clean spaceship and saying they wouldn't put it out there if they didn't feel confident that it is ready. Well, Gotti, as we're seeing tonight, they're taking that very seriously. We talk about not just billions of dollars, public confidence in the Boeing brand, but most importantly, Gotti, these two lives, these two veteran astronauts here. And Marissa, can, we have to talk about the rivalry with SpaceX. You have two private companies. You have the old school, the new school. Yeah. Boeing is kind of playing catch up here, right? Even though they are the, the prime, they are the old school. They are the, the ones that really had a history in this. Yes. And I want to show you, I'm so glad we pulled up. This is an Aviation Week cover from March 29th, 2004. At the bottom, you see David and Goliath. Can tiny SpaceX rock Boeing? Well, we know exactly what happened. And in fact, I want to point out Elon Musk wasted no time taking to his favorite social media platform, X, pointing out earlier that they, SpaceX, had half the budget and they accomplished what Boeing was trying to do four years sooner. He's no stranger to just trying to, to needle everyone here. Um, but all of this, if it does go according to plan, we see tomorrow go successfully, then we would see the these taxied flights, if you will, these taxied missions be shared between Boeing and SpaceX. But first, uh, let's see how tomorrow night goes, because that is what they're looking for um, in terms of what we're hoping to see tonight, Gotti. So we'll be right here. Fingers crossed. Marissa Parra, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.